Ah, yeah. Fine. You know, he did his uh, job. I'll have my first two items up. I'll have my Mask of Madness and my Hurricane up, uh, Hurricane Pike up by 18 minutes. And I'm ready to fight. And I love the point you made, Fog. I, I felt like that was exactly right. That uh, the ability of Secret to play along, play around the long cooldown ulties yeah. on the side of newbie. I mean, KP's ravages were actually pretty good. He did. He so, of, so, so is Yapsil. But they would have to. <laughs> yeah. True. But they would have to commit. You'd see like there would be a ravage. There would be exorcism. There would be Earth Spirit, Earth Spirit ultimate. There would be Wyvern's curse, and then. The next two minutes is just kind of a lull because they have nothing else to fight versus Secret's lineup. So yeah. Secret really took advantage of that one, and they've been looking really good. Their track record, track record, as you mentioned, versus Newbie has been very high. But here we go, jumping into the next one. Ogre is banned out this time. Carbon right. right. copy so far. And Newbie takes out the Rubik instead, though. There we go. That's what you gotta do. Okay. Once I yeah, saw that Rubik last time, I knew that game was an easy win. It was too nerve-wracking to play against the Absorbs Rubik. So now they have a chance. Breathing room established. And here we go. I mean, I mean, still, it's, it's still questionable how much of a difference it makes because Yapsaw has such a large number of heroes that he can perform on. To de definitely similar degree to his Rubik. Sure, sure. it's it's you could make an argument for it being his strongest, but the other heroes are not far behind. I mean, yeah, but it's how you have to play the game, you know? You have to be super careful all the time to try not give away those big ultimates, and it just impacts you in a different way. Now, now they're able to go loosey-goosey with that, whatever kind of big ults they want. It's all good. Loosey-goosey. Sank King Ban. Instant pick Omni Knight by Newbie. Well, wow. okay. Well, this is what they showed so in they... that perfect World Masters. This will be an instant brew pick by Secret, I'm assuming? You think? The mm -hmm. biggest counter to Omni Knight? I mean, that's just one of the favorable ones, because you can actually dispel the GA. Right. Sure. The tornado, you know? And then, of course, yeah, tornadoing him in the air in the fights can also be very efficient. Mm -hmm. well, either either Doom or Brew, I would think, by Secret. I think the Doom might be held till later if they do one. Could be. I don't know. Do you, do you try and do you try and counterpick the Omni Knight that heavily, or do you just go what's been working for you all day long? Or, yeah, maybe, maybe they could just switch it up. I mean, it is Secret. They, they've been, like we said, have a very good track record versus Newbie. Now, what Team Secret has to make sure they do is ban Winter Wyvern. We have seen so many Omni Knight Winter Wyvern combos, and it just it seems like you can't ever kill anybody on the enemy team. So, are we keeping an eye out for that one? I, I was just I was just gonna say that I feel like Bane is a really good pick uh, against the Omni because it can answer a lot of the aggro duel lanes that Omni can show, uh, and of course you got that Fiend's Grip the ult to go through the repel. I don't know. I like Omni Knight against Bane. He sleeps anybody. Remaining. You just repel yourself and instantly take it off. It's pretty nice. You know, Guardian Five Angel or repel remaining. somebody if he doesn't grab you. And then that Bane taking that teammate out doesn't do anything. I'm not seeing it in the Hazar's Air Spirit. Okay. So they don't they don't go for that. They take their two supports right away. They want to yeah. save their cores. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, Bane, not necessarily a classic counter to the Omni, but I think it, it gives you enough potential on that side. And then you lock down your, uh, your Yapsor or Spirit. Also take it and again. We talked about this in the last draft where Secret had first pick, but we talked about them using that first pick to take heroes away from newbie. Last uh, last time around, it was what the ogre, and this time around they take the air spirit away from Kaka. Oh, so we are going to probably get to see Kaka Slaughter. Uh, this is a hero that he's very recently added to his pool. Still are he's still two melee in the first two. Yeah, but those are two good friends, man. I mean, you run at you, stun and damage. That's exactly what Omni's looking for. Somebody to get in people's faces remaining. with a blink dagger and just beat them down to death. So, love that combo already from Newbie, and I know that they can play a hell of a good Slardar and Omni Knight. Looking pretty strong. Newbies, turn yeah, I really like uh, KP's Omni. Agreed. Banning out that disruptor. Like, so, so lovely with the, the Slardar in terms of that catch. Mm -hmm. Is that oh. the Christ of Hazes online? A bad in respect. I was just oh. gonna say that. That's newbie. Do not want to want to see that again. It really, I I was very skeptical of that pick. Uh, we talked about it a little seconds, backstage, remaining. but they got a lot of value out of it. Yeah, and and it's it super really good, well. super good against Five the Slardar as well. Remaining. Yeah, it's been able to sure. remove that that Christ of Haze every time. New bees turn to ban. Slark again. Slark ban, yeah. Yeah, secret this time, being the, the ones to Have to these ban two it been out. scrimming each other? I mean, what I do they know that we don't? Maybe it's a meme. Slark meme? Newbie ban Slark game one, secret ban it game two. Dang. It'll be a race to see who can ban it first for game three. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Well, newbie. 
Let's see, what do you got here? Burst damage would be nice. Got some weak dudes here, some magical dependent Team boys. No. The Tide Hunter gets banned out. That's strange. They well, like the Tide Hunter. Why are they banning that? Well, they're, they've already got Omni. yeah. They've already got their offlaner, and they've seen what Fata well. can do. Oh yeah. right, with that Famous here. Fata. Especially when they have a Slardar too. Like you want to be able to jump yeah. in and get multiple initiations. If you just get like counter initiated by Tide right away, it really messes up your game plan as a Slardar. Five seconds. Remaining. So Secret still with plenty of room in their lineup for one of the classic laning counters to the Omni Knight. You look at start looking at the Ursa, perhaps maybe with your fourth pick. Now everybody says Ursa is the big counter to Omni Knight. Yeah, yeah, I know, you, I know you're not, you're not, not a about big the lane. In that. It's about the lane. It is about the lane. Absolutely. I don't believe it, boys. Luna, the lady. Will we oh, see the Death Star? Ace Luna. I'm a big fan of Ace yes. Luna. Yes. Yeah. Thank Why you. is that? He just has He's a really good, good track record on it. He's even back when he played, uh, played this hero before he was on Secret. I liked his playstyle. He really likes getting uh, incorporated with his Eclipse early on, and his farm pattern is really good overall. Just this guy is really consistent. He's just those? really efficient yeah. on the hero. He he really he, uh, he pushes lanes really well, but still he farms on the way to fights and on the way to pushes and. Yeah, that's what you want to do in this patch. Is he one of those Kaya Lunas? I ain't a fan no. of that. Ugh. However, though, the Luna also is very good versus the Omni for exactly that point that you're kind of saying. That magic damage, the Eclipse versus Guardian Angel, can always be a big factor. Sure. Thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Is there a chance you feel that uh, Newbie might pick up the Shadow Demon? I mean, I mean yes. why not? We saw that be a big yes. success. It, it can be great against the Lunar indeed. You've got that set up as well for the Slardar Crush. It's still in the pool. Good versus Bane as well. Yeah. yeah. Up that Fiend script. Just banish? Oh, and they're going to go yeah. strangely yeah. for the Witch Doctor. Huh. The Team Secret special. Stealing that. Weird. I think a Shadow Demon would have been a much better pick. But hey, yeah. what do I know? I think you're pro player. It's, it, it's not a hero that Newbie have run a lot, uh, one and one so far this patch. They Ten did run it a little bit in the previous. But yeah, as you say, if you were to, if you were to tell me before Ten the series that one remaining. of these two teams was going to pick a Witch Doctor, you'd bet on Secret. Mm -hmm. I, don't, yeah, I don't necessarily see it. I don't necessarily see what no. makes Witch Doctor that great here. We have seen a lot of this double heal meta coming out uh, for yeah. that sustainability. It's just harder to kill people, and if you can't kill people, then you really can't win. There's Puck as well. Nice no, silence. you know what it is? You What's know what that? it is? I bet they actually, I bet they go Maledict in this match on Witch Doctor. You were saying a minute ago, Flex. Don't they almost always go Maledict now? Uh, yeah, now, now, yeah, now that's true. Is, that's true. I mean, it's when, not, when it's not a... Plays, he doesn't put point in the heal at all, does he? Yeah. 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 He just but max I think, I think they Slack have... said a minute ago that he felt like burst damage was a big need for newbie and the maledict in some ways does actually fill that i think having the kill potential between two supports if it's slaughter witch doctor supports you get a maledict with the corrosive haze and a death ward you yeah, kill majority sure. of targets yeah yeah, yeah death and it's just i mean yeah. it's just a safe hero to pick right it's a really safe five hero great in lanes cask is always going to be great and then the heal has its own factors and maledict always helps too it's just over it's just overall safe hero to pick but Puck coming in. A lot of burst, a lot of silence there. Very good versus Witch Doctor. Love it. And again, an, another hero that really all three of your cores can play, particularly at the two and the three. Okay. Newbie's going to turn things around. Oh. Okay. Got their own. I think they are starting to make sense. You know, having this Witch Doctor and Omni Knight, certainly, yep. you know, there's this hero that they can buff up, they can heal up, they can keep, you know, tanked up, ready to go in the front of the fights. Sure, but they got to make it to where Medusa is in fighting shape. Sure. And uh, I don't know, man. Bane handles Medusa pretty well. Get that Agnum Scepter, you drain the mana too. Think about it, guys. Is that still a thing? No. That used to be a thing. Well, they actually don't even do that anymore, does it? Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. that was no. back in the day. What the it, it, hell are you on about? That would have been one sick counter, though, I'm telling you. Old Ags what Bane. Think what, about was it. it ever really a counter? No, yeah, dude, it, it drained okay. mana too. It was sick. If you drain for you the full seven <laughs> seconds of Fiend's Grip back when it was like that, now it's... <laughs> I mean, now it's, now it's pretty bad, too. Yes. Now it's kind of like Mimi, but... It's pure damage, baby. That's good. It's not quite Meteor Hammer level, but it's I'll not quite Meteor. We haven't it's, seen it's any close. Meteor Hammer today, have Thank we? God. We Gee, are in the really? <laughs> yep, so he was great with this in the League Players, building one every game. He really was, too. Yeah, he was. No, the, the on. Only... Oh, yeah. Puppy I want to see, Puppy... see a Meteor Hammer this Puppy game. did not sound too happy about it, though. <laughs> would say. He'd be like, yeah, he's probably Gee. just going to build some Meteor Hammer with whatever. Yeah. No, the, the only two things I've seen with Meteor Hammer that I think, I think are actually pretty good is the split pushing, pushing Nature's Prophet with it. And Cole, Cole built it a couple of games where they had Tusk, 
I did and use the shards that. to set it up. I actually I thought didn't. that was kind of cool. No, the, the OP ones are the ones the where, Phoenix. You, where you can move. Oh, yeah, the, the Phoenix. Phoenix Icarus dive. Or yeah. the Pangolier. You roll in, you channel right. it, you roll out. We're getting a little off topic. Sorry, guys. Sniper this is the last series of the day. Sniper Man, interesting. One of the better heroes for Dusa because you yeah, can outrange the Stone Gaze. Yeah. yeah. You, you, it, it, I don't know again, if though, crafted, but. you still expect, I guess you're not, I guess that with Luna already on board, the AM doesn't fit as well into Team Circuit's lineup, but I still just, I hate ha having do so with AM still on the table. Uh, nobody's fallen for that <clears throat> bait yet, so. Actually, yeah why, sure. why, why, yeah, why would Ace not play AM this game? Because that, that puts Luna mid, which. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, um, yeah, sorry yeah. And they take Weaver. Okay. Okay, okay. And again, if you if you if you look at the ranged huh. mana burn options, Weaver is a little bit of a block pick here for newbie as well. Yep. But I actually really like it because of the tempo at which Moogie plays his Weaver. Uh, Moogie plays his Weaver at a much Ten higher seconds. tempo Remember. than a lot of other one position Weavers in the Oh, team. we could get the uh, could we we get the, the mid one PL Five this game. Remaining. It'd be pretty nice. They don't have too much of a lockdown. I actually like that. They don't have great AOE either. I'd, I'd like to just, just whack, whack a mid one PL there, put Fado on the puck off lane. I think it's a good solution. Yeah. Nice I've mana seen, drain. I've Although, the, uh, the SEA region has run that mid PL versus the Dusa. Yes. I've seen yeah. it happen. We've seen mid one do it before, right? I mean, I feel recently. Versus Dusa? Yeah. Yes. Maybe. I remember, I, I, I think I might have seen that, yeah. I remember mid seeing one, Cuckoo played a couple times mid versus Dusa's too. That's, that's a really interesting matchup to me, uh, the PL and Medusa, because it's a matchup that there are ways in which each hero sort of counters the other. But it's a matchup that can get tilted so quickly in one direction or another by a control advantage on either side. Hey! 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 We, 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 we did something right here, guys. Oh, oh. It's been a long day, but you long know what? day, you say? No problem. We got it. Easy day. Nice call. Yeah. So That's a good pick. along those lines, though, I really I look at the at the lineup apart from the PL and Medusa, and I ask myself who has the better control, and I think it might be Secret. What do you think? I, I, I think my only problem with Secret is they do have a PL and a Luna. I feel like if they can't sort of split it up, one of these heroes could get left behind. Um, okay. But I think, as you say, the control is going to be great. I expect big things from, uh, from Yapsil's Earth Spirit. Uh, you know, you talked about something have accounts for the Omni in the form of uh, Doom or such. I think Yapsil, on a good day, he's just as good in, in terms of just being able to find that silence each and every team fight and so rendering the Omni Knight uh, useless. All right. I'll go for Secret. So secret, well. yeah. Two for secret, slacks. I know a good army night game, and this ain't one. Put me on down for secret. All right, it is a clean sweep. I think you got to look not just at the heroes, but at who's playing them. And secret, when you talk about their two players playing PL uh, and. Uh, God, I forgot. Anyway, when you talk about their two core players, they're going to play those two heroes. Luna at Luna. a very high tempo. Luna. All right, it's late Luna. at night, guys. Don't We're forget clean the sweep, 4-0 here for Secret on the panel. We're going to find out, can they close it out, make it their second 2-0 victory of the day. One more time, here are Toby1 and Blitz. Panel curse. I love how they call it one more time. Like, this is so totally in the bag. Feel the hype for Game 3 coming up in just a bit. Man, you're mean. I am going to back our boys and say that Secret is making it out of here. No problem. I'm 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 backing a high quality game of Dota 2. That's oh. that's what I'm backing. I do not like that answer. I I like good quality Dota. And this Okay, maybe there's not that much quality Dota coming out from like newbie's very, very slow paced, but I'd like to see the slaughter and the Omnite work together, like a great dual dual kind of harassment lane for that off, which would be fantastic. Witch Doctor able to run that that babysitting the weaver looks like he'll function really well in this game how does team secret so if you're backing team secret mm -hmm. like i'm i'm looking at a nice overall sustaining control coming out from newbie what is secret strength in their draft that is going to give them this victory secret they have good cores i think the phantom lancer is very good against medusa he's pretty good against omni too i think he's got some problems in this game though if you just get stunned once by the slaughter, I think he dies in like half a second. <laughs> but I hope that doesn't happen, Toby. <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't happen. So, I'm sitting there it's like, yeah, if, if you do get stunned up, like Medusa's gonna have the split shot as well to deal with the PL later on. Like they got a decent amount of counter push in that. You can't forget the power of bugs. Like mm -hmm. it's an infestation coming out from newbie. 
Yeah, Weaver's a sick hero. He I'm, really I'm is. I'm a really big fan of that hero. I don't know why. Conceptually, like, it's not very soup. It's not really interesting. Like, you shoot out beetles, which <laughs> I hate bugs. So, hey, would you would you like to have the older version of him when he had the ghouls instead? Oh, that was so broken. <laughs> yeah. The the envious things, right? And when they popped, yep. they silenced. Yep. There were some real broken. But stuff th that was that was a later version of it. Like in uh, Warcraft Three, Dota, he actually had like oh, yeah, physical yeah. ghouls. The, they were the question marks when you leveled them. They looked like question marks. I. Hmm. And I then you got the that. Beatles. The Beatles is what I was talking about. But yeah, I remember the, the Beatles came in in the early. I remember of the Dota, ghouls. Right? Back then, though, they didn't utilize vision so much in Dota One. No. Like it wasn't seen as a broken spell, but if that was in Dota 2, everyone would be like, "Wow, that is the most bullshit thing I've ever seen in my life." The the, the broken vision thing was uh, the old remnants for Visage. Yeah. When he when he had like I think he had seven of them, and they'll just basically position them on top of both of the runes, and then the others would just split push by themselves, like the little like like the shadow bats. You know what I'd pay good money for is trees owls back. Owls, oh, yeah. Trees, owls. Oh, those are such a sick mechanic. Please, Ice Frog. <laughs> Alright, we're getting into the it's, game now. It's not allowed to be back. Like, maybe he doesn't like that just like he doesn't like techies. Techies? The 251 damage buff? <laughs> meme. 250 just wasn't enough, you know? I like the memes. I can appreciate it. I like the 50 movement speed. Like, you, you can do so much with stacking on that. Like, it's it's quality. Alright, so newbie is gathered up. Part 2. Is it, Are they going to do the same thing as they did before? There are only four men together. This time they don't have the weaver. Uh, and Smoke is on the slaughter. So I'm... we'll see if Newbie want to do their normal run. The Observed Wards are on the southern side of the river this time. Yeah. Secret is smart, though. It's exactly the same. They wait. It's basically the same. The only thing they've done is moved one of the Observed Wards in mid to the south. And SCCC is going to put his ward on the north. They don't have a sentry, though. And so Kaka is going to get his ward down. Yeah. Kaka... Kark is doing the lower. It's, it's almost the same run. The only difference is they didn't run past the tier 1 tower this time. And they put the ward on the high ground and not on the stairwell. You gotta change things up. What if they watch you, the you replay? Do. You do. You need to move things around. I rotate between two different positions. Exactly. I am now dynamic. <laughs> things are very slightly different as... Newbie, KP. They're gonna up. give both of the bounty runes to SCCC, and then he'll just like TP into the mid lane in three seconds time. Let SCCC carry you. <laughs> I think you're very willing to do that. He's he's been for me like a standout player in so many tournaments. All oh, that cask up on top, Fada, copying a decent amount of damage. Already has to burn the south and doesn't get what he normally wants. If, does he actually he hold does. the creep wave aggro? Yeah, he's good. Oh, Faith. He almost put his body block in that there. That actually makes no sense. The uh, creeps are why? Why half a continent that? away, but, you know, whatever. It all makes sense in the end. Right. All, what the we same. didn't realize is, like, the creeps actually have, like, hidden backpacks, and it's, like, radar ah, inside okay, of it. Yeah. So they, 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 these are pimped creeps. Yep. That's the new mechanic coming to Dota 2, where you can actually add perks to your creeps, like Pimp My Peon. Sure. Not happening. KP back to the tier 1 tower very low. <laughs> He'll also burn himself, so both offlaners already burning through a little bit of their consumables. Toby, it's too late for comments like that. I can't handle you. <laughs> it's going to keep happening, man. I think we're, we're, in, uh, we're in silly hour for me, man. I think I've been through like eight monsters already today. Let's just go. To, just to keep me going. Yeah. Shout out to the sponsor. <laughs> Push the wall, boys. Push the wall. <laughs> the, the, new, the new appetizing slogan born right here. Oh, bottom lane. Yeah, nice Stun crush, next. KP. Oh, he's closing the distance with the purification, but Puppy can still survive. Difficult to kill the Bane, especially when you still got Brain Sep up your sleeve. I'm not sure if this lane is supposed to trade evenly like this, but it's going so far so good. The Medusa is doing very well in this mid lane. Yeah. I can't imagine mid one is going to have the easiest time here, but... He's trying to have a little bit of help, so right behind him is Yapsaw. So Yapsaw's going to rolling boulder forward. They want to burn through as much of the manor of SCCC as possible, because now he doesn't actually have enough for a Mystic Snake. We got him. Yep. And then Courier. A little bit of extra regeneration. He's finished the full Ring of Aquila to stay in the lane. Yeah, mid one's getting really aggressive here, though. Oh, Kark is now going to rotate in towards the mid lane, so mid one, you can be aggressive all you want. No points in Doppelganger, so no easy escape. He went two points up in Phantom Rush instead. Do you, do you like that over, over at least having the escape? No, it's okay. 
it allows you to harass without having to expend mana, which is pretty, pretty amazing as... That was a great first play, Kaka. Second play, a little bit wild. It's all right, you have to miss two. Now, wide balls. Ugh. Paralyzing cast going bounce. There's that early Maldic level. He's yeah, so he's so toast. Nothing Fighter can do to stop him. KP, well played, boys. Well played. A quick orb away from the puck. TP support's coming in, though. Trying to come back. Part Rolling two. boulder. Yeah, Yapso wants to go for it again, but he's a level one. He's a level one. He asked for it. He can't do anything to stop that. That's got to be... You have to feel pretty sad about that one. You do. If only, if only he had a level two. He could have done something about this. But now Nubi claim first blood. And their two supports immediately rotate down here. Mm -hmm. This is a sick move by them, especially if they're able to get a kill, because KP right now is having the freest lane of his life. Under the cover of smoke. Funny thing is that there's no observer wards on that side of the map. The only observer ward for the Radiant side is still blocking the camp and looking towards the mid. KP's starting to get low, though. Yeah, he's really low. The Nightmare gonna buy some time. Purification's available. You gotta be quick oh, about this. There's so much life! He purifies just in time. Kaka comes in. They're looking towards Ace. Turning on the sprint. KP's still gone down. Faith will turn his attention towards Puppy with the Maledict. There goes your crush. Bane has a brain tap. The life comes in. Puppy will pick up a double kill. On this safe lane, working with Ace, and that is not the way Newbie saw this going down. Meanwhile, SCCC in middle lane. Yep, saw kicks him back mid one, working with him. They got a little bit more damage. One more swing, one ding. Three hero kills in the space of 30 seconds. Fada barely TPs out in time. All lanes have now decided to become action packed. Everything is going right right now for Secret, as they're going to jump off to a This may not be so right. Kaka with the Invis drone. They need to get the Maledict on him, though. Yeah. They need to push forward. Mid one does have his uh, doppelganger now, though. So it's going to be increasingly difficult to kill him with the heroes that they have right now. Yeah. Like, if if they got aggressive on SCCC, then this would work. But he's close towards the tower. The new creep, the new creep wave is going to keep him on the stairs as well. So watch that circle of vision. Mid, Mid one's being very defensive about it. He's trying to keep up his clarity. He might lose it here in a second. Yeah, there goes the Mystic Snake. Kaka with a follow-up crush. But she said they need the Maledict to really make this work, and it, it, it is not going to work. Kaka just soaks up some XP. The good news for Newbie, though, is that their top lane is going absolutely dominant. Can't ask for a much better lane than that. Mm -hmm. Having a well-farmed up Mugi Weaver. Very, very satisfied with this. Even the Omni Knight, like, for all the troubles that have happened down there, he's 22. Oh, okay, well, chain, chain the sleep off. Here comes your rolling boulder forward, paralyzing cars, trying to create a little bit of space, but Faith is dead. He, uh, he kind of took that one for the Kaka. Witch Doctor is getting crushed right now. He is level 2 at almost 6 minutes. Not the kind of start that he wants. Oh, he can go top and try and recover. Fada actually, he still got the Weaver bug on him. He didn't jaunt out on the back of its illusionary orb. And Moogie just takes the kill. Not you, certain if uh, Fat Fingered, but something's not quite right there. You just upset Merlini by saying illusionary orb. Ah, orb. Yeah, you, know you know what, Merlini? To you. Just say it how you want it, Toby. Yeah. Let's get back to Coddle Blast. Yeah, you get to make up whatever you want. Yeah. In life. Yeah. Yeah. Screw you, Ben. I don't want to conform. Exactly. Screw the establishment. Just make up words for stuff. It works out in the end. <laughs> Pass it off as Australian. <laughs> it's worked for you this far, man. Just keep it going. <laughs> it really has, actually. It's so stupid. Like, I don't know how, how you're this much better than Cap. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Sorry, Cap. Anyways, in mid lane. Oh, Moogie. Diving after Fada, paralyzing cask. Faith was baiting it out, and there's your orb jump at Mugi. Or he's so deep in that cask, it bounced so far with the Weaver bugs down. Mugi or Shikuchi through. Shake he's it got timeless to get out of here, and there it is, away from Yamsaw. Gets the kill on the Fada. And Mugi, nice and aggressive. Dude, those bugs are so good versus Puck. Because going, apparently, shifting out of the ethereal world <laughs> doesn't seem to get rid of bugs. <laughs> Hey, it's like termites. You think you've got them all, but they're still in the woodwork. Oh, mid, mid one. one. So deep. He was. Oh, get he out. Did. No, no. It was the wrong one. He'll start his TP. They don't see him in the tree. They just assumed that he got over. 
Oh, okay. All right, it sure. all works out in the end. Yeah, it's the confidence, Toby. <laughs> How does it all work out? I don't know. It's a mystery. You can, with confidence, Toby, you can pull off a lot of things. Yeah. And he was confident that's, that he was getting out of there. That's what Julie Andrews thought as well, but it didn't turn out well for. Oh my. Um, <laughs> I don't understand that reference. Yeah, I'm going to assume that it's wildly inappropriate, so we'll <laughs> continue to move on. I only did some seconds. <laughs> Kark is going to get rid of that upset for what in mid. So the vision game from Seeker is not fantastic. They see nothing over the river. They've just got their one defensive observer and sentry inside the Radiant Jungle. So this will protect Ace, who is still quite happily farming on the bottom lane. Got his tread, got his Quill of Wand. Very, very happy times for the Luna, even though we haven't seen a lot of pressure being applied to that tier 1 tower and bottom. In fact, it hasn't taken a single point of damage. Yeah. While um, Newbie, they've been adding a lot of pressure towards the top, and they're doing it again. Faith, as well as Kaka, rotating in to try and work with Moogie, make this top lane happen. Yapsaw already commits one of his rocks, rolling boulder. Ugh, Kaka, just short of getting in the way to block the rolling boulder away. Yeah, but they're doing a good job right now of securing the one lane that has been successful for them in this Weaver. You're going to play around what's working out for you, and that's exactly what they're doing as SCCC. He's going to stack this creep camp try to help himself out a little bit improve his own game on the dusa doesn't really have a support that can do it for him yeah they're busy i like that though you know don't be a selfish guy it's fine he it didn't really meet me uh miss much cs the only Radiant thing he let happen was puck got a little bit of space to get level six that's the only thing that really happened because pl abandoned the lane he went into the jungle and they continue to try to make this move around as mid one is getting increasingly closer to that diffusal blade which Absolutely obliterates do so, by the way. Yeah. How do you actually counter that one? Like, like you are going the Mask of Manus. Do you just, like, your split shot and your attack speed do the work? Don't worry. Late game, plus seven split shot target. No problem. It'll be the first time that I see it, and <laughs> it'll be so useful, I'm certain, as SCCC. I, I'm actually not certain if you're trolling at this time of the night. Uh, I don't know, man. I've lost consciousness like eight times, but just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward as newbie. Well, if, if you like, we can lock ourselves in a room. I start screaming, and that'll wake you up. Either that or deafen you. Uh, yeah, newbie rotating down towards the bottom under the cover of smoke. This is scary. Uh, it's still... scarier for Bane. Walks right into him. Paralyzing cast. Malik. That's a big commitment, Poppy. The Nightmare's out. Ace is eclipsed. He's trying to get in range of KP, but the... the... Protection from Repel will do the work. Kick the comes kick through timing. at the same time as Repel wears off for purification and GA. KP has to stand his ground. He at least avoid the rift and the loser B will here. find the kill. But there is your damage. Puppy is still dealing with the infestation of bugs. They're on the run back out, but negative armor kicks in. It's a one for one trade off that you know newbie want more. They've got three heroes to choose from. Fada turns back into the fight. A quick silence to begin. In fact, it's from both sides. The Moogie time lapses off the damage. Meanwhile, in mid lane, mid one's adding the pressure into SCCC, who doesn't seem to be dealing with it too well. Yeah, he's being pretty bothered by this right now. Trying to toggle off his shield. Gonna get Lance once again. Mid one, though, is out of mana. And now the TP comes in from the Witch Doctor. Maybe if he gets a good angle, they're pinging him. It's actually the Omni Knight. Omni Knight. Mid one's got no mana. Yeah, Karka's on the way through as well. So is Moogie, the Convergence on mid you lane time and this. there's your jump away but the crush kaka is gonna hit the money load with the purification bringing him down yep so wants to help out and maybe with the silence no Repel. he just casually walks away <laughs> <laughs> wasn't I, even close where's the lockdown though like you need bane and like they left puppy like after all that stuff happened on bottom lane puppy tp towards the top was like i'm gonna get my six we need fiends grip he is gonna d ward though so find some use out of that TP rotation nonetheless. And it's going to be a three-man shrine for newbie as they all heal to full. Very efficient. Props. I'm a... That's like my thing. Efficiency. When I see, when I see three people, three parties or more shrine... Oh, oh PL! <laughs> Doppelganger! Oh, they slowed down his timing a lot, though. And this Medusa is starting to catch up now by taking this ancient stack. She's got another one prepared as well. I believe that's actually a trip stack, maybe even a quad. Actually, that's ancient satyrs and double double granites. Yeah, that's uh that's a quad stack for the Medusa to the south. You do not deserve this. But as you said, like she needs to play catch up 
right now. Still slightly behind that of the PL. Bro, I think that's only a three stack. Is it a three? Is like it? Am I seeing more golems than there are? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. It's just his fat ass. It looks like two. Mm. Sorry, golem. Understandable. Hit. Sorry, hit the gym, bro. Understandable. Newbie, though, continuing to just farm this out. They're just farming neutral stacks like crazy. They're not actually trying to engage in fights at all. Much better. When you play Dusa, you just chill. Is that when Team Secret were meant to invade? Like, does Ace, should have Ace, like, skipped the Lunar Blessing second point and just gone, like, max up in Glaives and try and contest these stacks? I think you get, like, one point in it. Uh, I think the second point is pretty value from what I'm told. And then you want to max out the Glaives. But beyond that, I'm not too certain because I'm not a Luna player. It used to be the other way. Like, I remember one of the TIs we had, uh, like it was, it was the lower bracket Luna run. Oh, nice. Oh, puppy. Ca catching top of Kaka. Waits in the sidelines and Mugi. Uh, he won't follow this through, but with both missed as well as a swarm, that is not a happy time. No, not at all. For anyone that gets hit from that. Puppy thought he just had an angle and he was going to get a free kill from Mugi. Yep. Kaka there at the right place at the right time. He understands protect. Like, it almost feels like a reverse of last game, doesn't it? It's just newbie having heroes sit behind them, mm -hmm. secret trying to make plays. Newbie being very passive, and I guess that's just oh, what happens yeah, when you do so. He goes for the kick. He's like, I don't I don't really want this. I really Mugi don't want this. Angle. But here comes mid one. Mugi wants to go on Yapsol, but underneath the shrine, it's not the most attractive fight to have. And now Diffuser Blade is up on the PL. They have to be careful about mana management. Yes, very good against the Medusa, of course. She's going to have to have a hero around her because if she gets jumped on, it's lights out. And at the same time, Ace just continues to farm on this Luna. And now he's got an ancient stack of himself to go to. And it looks like Puppy is on the south side trying to stack that up at the same time. Oh, that's nice for Ace. That should be enough to finish his Yasha. Yeah, they're trying to be as efficient as possible here. S triple C just slowly walks away. There's still that stack to take. SEC is finally coming over for it. Mystic Snake and Farm trying to even get the extra stack onto it. Faith going on mid one. Mid one in trouble. Doesn't have double a lot of damage. Weight. He's got a lot of one charge. Just turns around to create more of himself to try and beat down Faith. Won't happen, however. KP there is to is there to be medic. And the push is coming. This will be the death of the tier one tower. No one from Secret can defend this. I think both teams are sort of okay with this though. Like both sides are still farming. Medusa is getting this ancient stack. Ace is getting absolutely massive. He has his own form of split shot in this Moonglaive and better stats, better agi, better damage. So he's just naturally going to farm a little bit faster than this Medusa. Interesting though, the courier actually sent his Yasha back. It was halfway up the lane and then uh, and then went back to base. Weird. Yeah, it, it went back for Yapsol's items. Not certain if worth, but take it anyway. Still needs another 150 gold before he's got the Earn of Shadows money. Newbie's preparing a fight up on top. Vision game once again being very blind. Only one defensive observer ward for the Dire side. Just in the front of Roshan. And rolling boulder. Yapsol. Hoping to try and attack. But they don't see what they're looking for. And the Sentry War doesn't reveal any aggressive vision from Newbie. Man, when you farm these Ancients, the purple guy, that's really what unites Dota players, is our hate for the purple dude. He just randomly roots you and does like 400 damage at it. Oh no, Ace. Fed both the illusions. That's 50 gold. Critical. You never know. If he doesn't have buyback by like 50 gold, You'll know where that came from. We shall remember. It's like a butterfly effect thing, you know? Plus, you get to farm with those pretty fast. Yeah. Like, the Luna Illusions are sick. They're not as good as, like, the Axe ones. It looks like it was mainly moving to tier one. It looks like it was mainly moving out to try and, like, scout up the stacks that Newbie's already running. Yeah. By the way, another great use for Swarm, farming up Ancients. Everyone and, is just farming right now. Yeah, it really is. Puppy comes in close. At least he could be a leech. How do they find this angle, though? It's it's difficult. Like The execution has got to be near perfect. And they have to get Fiend's Grip off on him. Oh, they're coming in. Kaka's in the trees. Faith is there. Mugi. Everyone's here, though. Yeah. They might smoke themselves. I think they're oh, actually... rolling ball. Yapsos going in onto Faith. The kick comes through. But then the crush! Kaka catching the back line.
line of both mid one as well as puppy the cast won't bounce but the death ward does the work anyway two eras gone both supports down for secret and Mugi oh, and KP are on the wall path. He doesn't have Doppelganger away. Another crush with the amplification. They just can't deal with it. And Nubi know where to go next. Into Roshan. Put this damage to use. Put this negative aura to use. This is so weird. It feels like I'm watching the same game, but like deja vu onto other team. Oh, we're going to have, what, a 24-minute GG? Yeah, this Once is... Once again? Like, even the Roche timing is almost identical as Newbie worked their way in. Boogie's given the last hit and oh, the Aegis, and now he's so farmed. The he's got, he's with got the Dragonlance coming on the Kur in a bit. Yeah, he's really tanky now, too. Medusa is... <laughs> is only 100 or so gold away from finishing up for Manta as well. They're all so getting a lot of farm. There's no way to silence the controller. You got a, a full on a shash, you got a blink dagger on a slaughter. He's looking into even buying a four staff. And KP is actually not going for a, a blink dagger right now. He's going back he's already got the drums and the face boost, but he's going for a hand of Midas on this Omni Knight. Maybe feeling he has to go a little bit later. I was I wondering if he'd actually try and go for blink. No, I think it's a good idea. You think you might scale. Ooh, you might as well just keep up with the rest of your course. Ada, TP, he'll be fine. He's fine. They just don't deal damage though. On the side of mid lane. Oh. Inscript. Hold the Omni in position. Bought the Midas before death. And now the rest of Newbie's coming over. Fada, the double silence and the double coil. Oh, They're gonna try and the kill kick. Kaka, the kick. It flies straight through the ancients. They focus on the slaughter. They focus on the controller. And then turn their attention to the next hero. One after one, they all fall down. House of Cards, Faith will be brought down by mid one. It's okay. This is still identical to last game when they had that one suicidal. <laughs> yeah, the push-up mid. Yeah. And then, and and then the counterattack. It'll hold. It'll hold. My theory is. Well, right hopeful. now, Moogie is still on defense, enfeebled up, trying to go towards Puppy. That's a lot of oh, mid one. He's burned through the mana and the extra silence. Aegis Immortal. It's going to be popped, but everyone from Nubia is coming back up. There's your blink forward. Able to get the crush onto Luna, but he didn't get mid That's one. so much damage. Holy Hannah! Goodbye to the slaughter. SEC is running back. KP is there with him. But now we really see the power of that PL pick. Fada wants to go for a little bit more himself on the run out. Moogie's behind him. He popped the Diffusal Blade charge, but Fada, well, back to safety. Yeah, what they need more than anything is they have to kill this... Weaver once, and then the game is really heavily in their favor. And conversely for Newbie, I mean, they're having a hard time taking these fights. It feels like this Luna is doing a little bit too much damage right now. The amp damage, they're not really finding the initiation, and they definitely need KP. Like, the reason why those previous fights work is because KP just repels the hero that's getting gone on, and Secret has absolutely no answer for that. Yep. But right now, Ace found himself a double damage rune. He's going to rip apart this tier 2 tower. Fortification will slow him down. Dire scan up. No one's close by. A quick mist. It's onto the fake Lunas. And SCCC is here to defend. Yeah, he is not going to go for the split shot target. He's already working on the Maelstrom into Mjolnir. <laughs> I was just messing with you, man. I know you were, but sometimes I just want to double check my own brain for it. Moogie wants to go on Fada. Bottom lane, Diffusal Blade charge. There's the bug. Time and space does not get rid of it. Fada able to get the blink. Oh! oh! Whoopsie! Okay. It, that, that, it happens. Time Everyone, and space doesn't get rid of it. It, it, hap it happens to the best. Apparently, you can blink. No problem. Uh, yeah. like no damage during that time anyways, as now they might try to go for a turnaround of their own as secret. They should be aware of that. Um, Ace is going to scan out the uh, dire jungle while newbie. Grouping up around the shrine. They do have the smoke on Slada if they want to go for the fight, but KP's going to have to do the defense duty. Because this is just what Manta illusions do from a Luna. They just keep the lanes going. While well, SECC, five He's arrows is farming. better than one. <laughs> He's just farming. He's finished the, the, Mal the Maelstrom at least. That's going to help a lot in terms of the DPS and his farming potential. And it's really good against PL2. Fart is coming over. They don't have any aggressive vision in this area. And SEC has already done his job. So they, nah, they're not coming over. No. They don't have any other course. Maybe if Luna was there, if Ace was there, I could I could feasibly see that engagement, but because Ace. he's not. Ace is busy going in for this straight up butterfly. 
He's pretty close to it too. Yeah. As bottom, Fada. Just messing around with them. The bugs are coming in. Fada, you gotta dodge those. Dodged. Dream kill snap on Mugi. Fada's away. Right, Kaka's gonna go for the blink stun. Nope. Goes uh, upwards. You, you, yeah, you, you're right about one thing. It was a blink. On what? <laughs> Said blink stun. You got half of it. Mm -hmm. Never doubt yourself, Toby. <laughs> Split shot upgrade. Doubt self. <laughs> Team Seeker's coming down the mid. They've smoked up themselves, putting mid one on the front lines. Mid one. Got a lot of stats behind his name. 20 armor, 14 80 HP. Thanks to that extra ultimate orb he's got. Paralyzing cask. Try to slow things down to make more illusions. The backline slaughter. Thought he had the opportunity, but Puppy grabs him with both hands. And Slada will drop. There goes the initiation of Newbie. And look at top. Ace just oh beating boy. on that tower now. And Mugi now being kind of shuffled around the map. Here oh, comes the Stone, stone Gaze. gaze. SCCD is trying to create a little bit of space. Luna's making her way down. Fada wants to hold him back. Dream calls off cooldown in two seconds time. And Fada can lock in three this heroes. This would be a really They're nice Dream Coil. And here comes the Eclipse. The kick! It goes through and catches two of them. KP as well as SCC on the stairs. Mid one wants to put in more damage. The Guardian Angel will buy some more time. But with the Magnetize, you can time lift off a little bit of that damage. Mugi coming back in for Puppy. No more one charge is available. Bankaka. They're all backing up, back into safety. They will survive, newbie. They wanted probably at least one of the kills on Team Secret out of all of that, but they didn't get it. That was so dangerous, that engagement for both sides. Secret, they sensed blood. They were like, they're going to come up this hill. We're going to crush them in this fight. It was a beautiful coil and a kick on top of the Earth Spirit ult, but fighting into their base is a little bit too much, and newbie sensed that. But they really wanted something out of that, newbie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Their inability to take fights right now is a little bit worrying for me right now. It, it just seems like like they've got Slada's number. Like Kaka just doesn't seem to be able to get this jump that he was able to do for like the first like 10, like off, uh, when he's originally got that blink dagger, it was stun after stun after stun. Even yeah. before that, he was getting it. Yeah, that was what was originally winning them these engagements is he was able to find so many different initiations onto multiple heroes on the side of Secret. But now Secret are doing a very good job of splitting up, playing the keep away game. Why did Yamso get this money? Just yep. picked up a blink dagger on the Earth Spirit. Yeah, it just does that. Yeah. Just he finds gold. Just Yapso things. Mid one is is one one point two K away from having his full Scotty. You saw though the mana. Oh it burns. Yeah. I'm actually wondering if uh like even with the Medusa. You don't have the clearance in from a Weaver. Like he built Maelstrom himself going into a BKB. Medusa still wants to go into this Scotty now. After. Oh, Fada. Kaka, he's looking for it right now. They're going to send in the oh, Beatles. He's going to get caught him. out. Kaka, wait for it. Patience. Pa Patience is a virtue. But Orb, face shift. John down again. He dream calls to hold three of him position. There's five heroes from Newbie. Fada's trying to get this bloody bug off him. He has to wait oh. once more, and there's the purification. They'll find the kill. But meanwhile, while those five heroes are down there, they're having to TP back. They're going to probably... No, they're not going to lose their tier 2 tower. I thought Secret would force the issue. Yeah, Secret. They're really going for it right now. Trying to force them back, but... Newbie? Playing really carefully right now. I feel like they should commit to this bottom tower. But I think the larger stake right now is they're not sure how how uh, how soon Roshi's going to be up. Mm -hmm. And Secret take that really quickly. Got it. Well, we're about to find out. Roshan's spawn timer is... Okay, it's long. It's 2 minutes 40. That's a very long time. If Secret wait this long, well, Medusa's going to get a lot fatter. Yeah, and that's going to be the large-scale engagement that matters. The Aegis plus the Cheese. The Cheese means a lot more on the side of Newbie because they have this Medusa. Like, you have two cores that will essentially just have a second life. SECC will have a cheese, which helps do out more than any hero next to Storm. And Weaver will have the Aegis, of course. And that will be quite difficult for Secret to fight. Because they just don't have a lot of lockdown, Toby. Mm -hmm. They've got this kick, the silence from Puck. It's okay. That's why he's building the Hex next, which is kind of rare, but he understands his role in this game. Has to be more lockdown. You just have to age and smith this with PL. There has to be more of me. Mm. That's what has to happen. He almost has a Scotty. That'll help that for sure. Yeah. Survive even longer. What do you actually look to for the for the PLA? He's already got maneuverability. You've got the mana burn up and running. 
Do you just go like butterfly? Do you just continue to amplify the stats on the hero? Yeah, I think butterfly has some value here. Is is okay. I'm trying to think what else you can get right now. I don't want to just blow you off, but I yeah. Is 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 there is there anything else that's uh, normally like the list? You get manta, you get ag, or you get heart. Nobody really grabs ags too much anymore. Which is sad, because that item seems pretty cool. Notice I didn't say good. I said pretty cool. Yeah. But next it was, fight... I it think... was better than interesting. Yes. Next fight is coming up right now. I'll... For now? Roshan. Team, Team Secret are doing it again. Like they're, they're forcing in the top lane and making Nubi look behind themselves. So, yeah, Roshan's taking a little bit more time. He's got another 50 seconds before he'll spawn. Yeah. But the concept we all understand, right, is they're trying to force them back so that they take an inefficient fight as Kaka boards. Yeah. He knows that mid one is there and now he's gonna get swarmed on. <laughs> That's a lot of mid one. They crush, they purify, they try and get rid of it. Kaka's losing mana, the even paralyzing casket slowed them down. So what needs to happen is that Fada needs to shove in this bottom wave, then TP boots back in. And newbie have to be smart about how they handle this because if they just immediately uh, show themselves a bottom, this is gonna be a free Roshan on the side of Secret. Mid one's actually looking for the fight up here with Fada. So Fada TP is in. Mookie very wisely backs out. Yeah. He doesn't have any way to break free of that puck silence. I think somebody has to push out bottom though. And that's going to be Yapsor. I feel like the puck maybe abandoned it a little bit too oh, soon. What a time. What a time. The second they walk into the pit, Roshan spawns up. But now the puck illusionary orb scouting out the momentum. And in comes the PL illusions. They're not replicating out just yet. Mid one gets caught by the swarm, but lances forward, dropping Faith's mana down, making it difficult to work. Ace, he looked like he was about to start the eclipse, but pulled out the last moment. And bottom wave is slowly but surely shoving in. Same with top. Shrine is popped a little bit prematurely, oh, though. They're smoking. They're coming in. SCCC. He's already down at half mana as he looks for this fight to happen. And Puck, he actually TPs to the bottom lane. So he said it's pushing in slowly. They're going to notice this as soon as Fado yep. shows himself, and he does. Is he's going to orb this, in this direction. Is this the Mugi? Is this the Mugi moment right oh, now? Oh, no. This is going to be a free Roshan right now. They're sending in the Paralyzing illusions. Paralyzing cast, clawing it down. Yeah, nice Soul with kick. the kick. Catches a lot, and the Eclipse Roshan is still goes the way of SCCC. Mid one, he already kills off Slada. They're going to look for more. Maybe they just have the confidence to take the fight, because Ace is killing off Faith and Mugi in the back lines. Mugi has to timeline out the damage, but SCCC, the Guardian Angel, will keep him alive. But for how long? KP is still here, but he's running out of mana. He's running out of life. Puppy Puppy's hiding, hiding in the trees. He's a piece Somebody of bark right him. now. They don't see him. Finally, he died. I think he actually died of what? Degen Aura? It was Ace who gets the kill on the KP. The Aegis Immortal will burn. They hold him in position. The Deuce is dying and they are all dead as Ace will claim an ultra kill for Team Secret. Was it a trap? Did Bada reveal himself so Nubi would go at... I don't think they expected that, but at the same time, Secret, they realized what Newbie did, but they did it better. In the last game, they said, you can't just ever give up Roshan for free. Even if it's a 4v5 and it's awkward, you have to contest it. But they did it so much smoother, and Newbie was not prepared for that fight. They were clumped up in that Rosh pit, and at the same time, the Bane. Puppy kept himself alive for so long that Mugi <laughs> died trying to go after him with no stuns on him. Oh, Kaka, that was close. You gotta be careful here as Ace... He is so strong right now. There's no buybacks on oh, the side of Newbie. This is how he holds it. This doesn't work, Faith. Glaives are too powerful. So is the PL. He just goes in deep. Faith's going to go down as well. They're losing too many heroes. Whoopsie daisy indeed. Mid one gets a double kill. They rotate top. They're looking for the second lane of Rex. They want Meanwhile, everything. the lane that was pushed in bottom has arrived. And mid one's just giving it the extra nudge forward. The Luna tears apart buildings. The Demolisher in Team Secret. They're looking to claim Megas while all the time Deucer is sleeping. Yeah, they're going to grab this set of racks. Oh, they have it split up and farm my ass. All they're going to do is keep pushing. Medusa is back up and living, but so are the big abilities. SCCC, he's trying to get back into the base. Mean one runs forward. He'll try and dodge out with a quick doppelganger. A puppy holding Deucer in position. Doesn't have a lot of help here. The Dream Call Snap will kick in, and everyone else is running. Puppy will have to take it for the team. His secret did dive in a little bit too deep, but they still have Megas. 
32 minutes in. Newbie, more than on the back foot, they're crippled. That is a lot of Dagons in a row that I just saw Fata purchase. You notice they were it's spamming the chat wheel? He's still spamming it. He, this is his homage to CTY. <laughs> Communication is an important thing in the game of Dota 2. It is incredibly important, as we're seeing right now, because Secret, they are headed towards a top three berth. You're seeing the difference right now, the ability to communicate with their mid laner. They're up nearly 20,000 gold, every advantage in their favor. The bright spot for newbie though, Toby, is that Medusa is one of the best heroes at holding out this high ground situation. Yeah. But I don't know if Secret play passively and allow her to just stack up and get a rapier or something like that. I, I would be very surprised if that's the case. They're taking out the shrines. They still have the power moment here. Medusa is not ready to try and counter push this all. And with PL being successful as he is, he's finished up a full butterfly, ready to fight. Luna is so strong. I they, don't think you hold back. They have buybacks too on both these heroes. And mid one even has travels. And oh all boy. it takes is one little nudge because there's no buybacks on either the one or the two position for newbie. The only one who has it is Omni Knight. That's that doesn't it. matter. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Mr. Four Star Flight Bell. That's, that's the only thing they've got on newbie right now. Team Secret. Maybe they are the only team today, today to get like 2 0 2 0. Yeah, it's starting to look like it. They're looking dominant right now as top wave pushing in and bottom wave. They're doing the same thing. They're cutting off all the exits right now. The lightning storm has arrived for SECC. He's, he's at least got the Mjolnir up and running now. Oh, he does. He does. He, he finished it up. He still wants his 25, however. Yeah. This will take more time, especially when you're defending up against Megas and you're with your entire team inside the base. There's the Lotus Orb now up for the Omni Knight. Some level of protection. No buyback though. They're all in committing for yep. the one-shot fight. If Secret want to be absolutely safe about this, they can wait for the next Roshan. Well, Roshan spawns up at about 3-2-2. Perfect. All the signs. There's a Crimson Guard now, by the way, on the Bane. Mid one. TP's coming in from the puck. Moogie's in the neighborhood. And he's in the sidelines, getting silenced. Day gone. Dream called Moogie. BKB and is able to time lapse off. Got really low though. He's got to be a little bit more careful there. He didn't expect that kind of burst damage, Toby. And that was his 10 second BKB now on cooldown. Everyone marching forward. There's Luna Illusions too. <laughs> Best he, possible situation. Of course, like mid one just casually buys a BKB. Why not? Coming out in the courier now. More sustain as Team Secret smoke up looking for an opportunity. It's Puppy and Yapsol who, who are the ones hidden in the unhealthy habit. Jump in, Kaka. Oh, Fada. <laughs> That's a lot of damage into the slaughter. Fada's just messing with them at this point. <laughs> Styling. He's just pinging people with his Dagon. As now, Ace completes the Satanic. I think all the items are done now. Puppy, Puppy though. Bugged up. Here comes the Amstel. What a kick in silence. He can't stop both of them. Mugen can time lapse off the damage. Doesn't have the BKB to fight. Luna, stone to the world, but now turns on the Sun Rays. Or the Moon Rays, you can call it. A double kill for Rays. He's looking for Mugi, but Mugi can't stop see him. running. SCCC is just by himself, all alone. No friends. And GG. Newbie end up being brought down by Secret as Secret get that winner's bracket final. That was dominant, and now we see a rematch of ESL Hamburg semis. This time, though, Liquid also looking very poised, but Secret today crushed. It did not feel like they broke a sweat in any of their games. All their games, it felt like, took under 40 minutes. Yep. Very well done by them. Yeah, really, really positive performance there from Team Secret. You thought maybe at the minor in Shanghai, things would be a little bit rough. How is the team going to perform? But they performed so well, even with a stand-in of CTY with a language barrier. Mid one 